Hello everybody and welcome to November Soup Spectacular. Glad you're here. I'm Tony from Kettle Kitchen. So let's get started. One thing I want to stress out is that this recipe is intended to be as easy as possible. Okay, so we start out with one can, 14 and a half ounces of whole new potatoes. Make sure that they get rinsed and drained. Then we have two cans of 15 ounce mixed vegetables. Make sure they get drained. We will be using two cans of can, uh, cannellini beans. These need to be rinsed and drained. We also have two cans, 14 ounce artichoke hearts. Those need to be drained. Then we have three cans, 28 ounce uh, diced tomatoes. Those will keep the juice in. We'll be using a quarter cup of freeze dried carrots. I use mine from Thrive Life. And then we also will be adding in one can of the 15 and a half ounce golden hominy and that needs to be drained. So here you'll see eight uh, cups of vegetable broth. I later change it to 12, just so you know that. And then also here in this recipe, I use four cups of elbow pasta. Um, I would recommend only using two. Uh, I didn't change it from my notes from my last time I made this. So, And then in addition, we'll have four tablespoons of olive oil. We'll have three tablespoons of fresh minced garlic. Ours, we get uh, already pre-done. And then we'll be using two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. We'll be using two teaspoons or tablespoons of crushed minced dried onion then we'll be using um, uh, four table teaspoons of salt and then two teaspoons of black pepper so i'm going to go ahead and get in here and we'll go ahead and throw the oil and the garlic together and you want to make sure that you don't burn those you want to make sure that they stay um, relatively soft without browning or or turning dark or anything like that and again, as I've said, this recipe is intended to be easy. It's something that's inside your, most of these uh, ingredients are inside most people's cupboards. Uh, and it just, it's such a simple thing to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, vegetable broth that I have now. And in addition to that, we're going to go ahead and add the three cans of the diced tomatoes. In this, you want to include the juice because it's part of the flavor that you get. So this is called the poor man's minestrone. Um, and I do it that way because it really comes down to, again, easy staple items. It's something you can throw together. Now, you can add to this if you want to any kind of meat. You can add a sausage like a kielbasa or bratwurst kind of thing. Um, you can get an Italian sausage, hamburger, chicken, pork. You could add anything to this and make it a meat style. So, so after I put the lid on this, I remembered I forgot to put in the dried carrots, the freeze dried carrots. So I need to went ahead and stir it around, and then I added the carrots into there. It takes them a little while to, you know, about f uh, it, it varies five to 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, but they'll rehydrate in the juice that's in here in the broth. So it won't be that big of a deal. So I'm gonna go ahead, give it a good stir. Um, while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the minced dried onions. Um, and just make sure, I'm trying to make sure everything gets stirred in as I add it. It just makes it uh, work better and I'm trying not to clump a bunch of stuff up in there as well. So basically what we need to do now is let it come back to a boil. Um, we're basically we're getting that those items heated up as thoroughly as we can. We'll go ahead and put the lid back on once the boil's done and we'll turn it back down to simmer and that'll go for about 15 minutes. So now it's went ahead and done its 15 minutes and simmered. We're gonna go ahead and add all of our vegetables in. So 
We've got our two cans of mixed vegetables we're throwing in. We're gonna throw in the golden hominy. Try to make sure we get everything out of the can. And then in addition to that, we wanna go ahead and throw in the um, artichoke hearts, both cans. I'm not typically an artichoke heart pe person, but I'll tell you, I like it in this soup. It's one of the few times I do eat it. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the uh, new whole potatoes that I've diced up. And we wanna go ahead and add in our Italian seasoning, um, our salt and our pepper. And then we'll go ahead and make sure we stir it up and uh, get all those flavors melded together. So now we've let it sit there and it's kind of simmered for about five, 10 minutes. And one thing I forgot to add into the beginning was I have two cups of frozen squash. So I went ahead and thawed it out. I drained it, squeezed it off. So the water's out of it and I'm adding it in here now as well. So that is a good source. Um, remember it's being easy. It's all about being easy. and. This is another way to add vegetables into it and then be able to benefit from it. So we went ahead and let most of that come back up to a boil. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure we get everything mixed together and we're gonna go ahead and add our cannellini beans in um, and then we will also add in our pasta. Now remember in the beginning, I said that there's four cups and I'm adding four cups here, but I forgot that I had written a note down on my recipe and I didn't go back and look at it. You actually only want to add two cups of pasta. The four cups does end up being too much and you'll notice that in the end product that there's a lot of pasta in there. So you want to make sure that um, you're not over, you're not losing the excess broth. That's what will end up happening because the pasta will soak it up. So we're going to go ahead and put the lid on, let it sit for the last 10, 15 minutes and should be good. So here you go. We're at that point now. And as you can tell, as I stir this around, the pasta's done, did its thing. The beans have cooked, everything's done. Um, you wanna make sure that you've got enough soup um, to, or broth, I should say, to solid ratio. Um, I wasn't happy with that, but that was something I dealt with because of the way the pasta came out and I put too much in there. But I'm telling you, this tastes amazing. The way the broth did turn out, thickened a little bit on its own. That's probably because of the excess pasta, but that is a good bowl of soup and it tastes good. It's nice and full. It's hearty and give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, everybody, my word of the day is easy. And remember, go look and check out all these channels in this collaboration. I'm sure you will enjoy them. Mm -hmm. Is it good? On a cold day, this is one that'll warm you from my whole feet to your top of your head. It's really good. Would you eat it again? Yes, I would. All right, thank you.